Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Today is March 31st and I just finished putting together our April budget on our spreadsheet so I just wanted to share it with you guys. Um, if you're new here, my name is Daisy. My husband and I live in the Bay Area and I'm gonna show or share our budget for April. So. Um, we're going to get started. There's usually usually a rollover amount, but I won't know that until probably Monday. And then I'm going to put um, D and A income. So I'm going to combine our incomes into one line uh, just because um, I don't think it matters. Um, you know, how much I bring, how much my husband brings at the end of the day, we all put our eggs in the same basket. And so we pull out, um, we know the amount to pull out. So in terms of income, we're going to go ahead and budget another 5,000 for April. Um, it might be a little more because I did pick up some extra work with a specific client. So my income is slowly, gradually going up. And then also the hubby, we're forecasting some quarter two to be um, decent. So his might go up as well. So, but for now, the minimum base we always like to start is 5,000. And um, we're self-employed. So if you're self-employed and you don't get like a regular paycheck, it's always good to kind of do your lowest based, base, sorry. Um, when you're doing your budgeting. So that's that. Now we're gonna go ahead and move into fixed bills. And by the way, I purchased A5 paper that was already hole punched and I really like it. It's really nice. Um, this one came particularly with little dots, which doesn't bother me, but it was so nice. I just put it into my printer, printed it out, and now I don't have to actually like cut it and all. Um, so yeah, I think it was like a hundred pages for eight bucks, which is, um, I think a little pricey, but at the end of the day, I'd rather just, if it's available to me, I could do it. Um, because my cuts were never the same each month. So, um, it just didn't sit right in my planner. Not a big deal, but just thought I'd share. So we're going to go with phones. So we have been discussing about our phone bill. Um, because it's pretty high. We're at 180, 180. I think it should be 181. So I'm going to put 181. Um, we have discussed it and we are deciding to switch plants. Um, we'll probably save maybe 80 bucks, but um, which might not be a lot for a lot of people, but we are really, um, I don't think we need to be paying 181 in phones. We're going to do car insurance. And we're still debating on this. We're at 235. We could go a little lower, but one of our vehicles is still in fairly good condition. So I don't think we're gonna budge on that. Jim is gonna be at 120. Um, hopefully at the end of quarter two, I'll be able to cancel my gym membership. So that will go down. Netflix is the only subscription we have and um, I'm going to round up to $20. I like having a good rollover cushion so if I round out up to the nearest um, number it would it's going to be nice for my rollover. So Netflix, uh, medical insurance, uh, yeah so I'm going to just round that up to $800. It's usually like $796. And then um, we have Bible school, which we pay monthly. And then we also pay for textbooks and then also for uh, any activities that are going on. So we're gonna do 260. Guatemala is it's usually 250. We send money to family. Cairo is gonna stay at uh, 200. And then moving on to envelopes here. Um, I'm thinking of, I think I mentioned doing my own version just because I don't 
really separate certain categories. So this always, always throws me off. But I'm gonna do variable expenses down here. So we're gonna do groceries at 500. We've been doing pretty well with this number despite the, the rise in food and the inflation. Eating out, we're gonna do 150. Gas, gas has kind of been going a little over five, under five. It's like hanging around the five, averaging around $5 per gallon here in the Bay Area. So we're gonna do 150. Personal care. Um, so this is gonna be a little high this month because we did pay off that one major medical bill. So we do have a little bit more funds this to use this month. And I'm just going to play it safe and do 200 because um, now that we're not so tight on our budget, um, we might want to stock up on some items that are not necessarily, you know, needs, more of wants. And so same with supplements. And then home supplies, we're going to do $60.00. And then we have RV is at 56. Oh, I rounded that to 60 actually. 60. Miscellaneous, we're going to do 20. And then backup storage, meaning for our phones, we're going to do $10. And so for cash wise and sinking funds, our ofrenda is usually, I like to budget 100 for my end. Cleaning um, that we do once a month is 150 for now. And then we're going to do sinking funds, which is a whole long list that won't fit here. So the rest of our sinking funds are going to be high. We're going to do 1,100 because now that we have a little more room in our budget, we're at least going to try to stock um, our cash stuff pretty heavily in April. And then from there, we'll kind of maybe trickle down so that we can allocate some of that money towards other savings that we want to do. So that's that. And then we have that one uh, medical bill left that we said we were going to we are doing a payment plan interest free and the payment plan is for $200. So let's add this up. 181 plus 235 plus 120 plus 20 plus 800 plus 260 plus 200. We're at 2066. So we would have left over 2934. And then over here, I'm gonna do, or it adds up to 1300 minus the 2934. We're at 1634. Over here, we're at uh, 1200, 350, so 1300, whoa, 350. So then we were left with 284. So here's 200. So at the end of the month, we would be left with $84, which is fine. I know it's not technically a zero based for April, but um, yeah, we'll see how the sinking funds will allocate that. Um, we haven't had a, a month where we had a little over a thousand to use, so that will be nice. But yep, here is our budget for April. Um, and like I mentioned, we're working on seeing if we can switch over our phones. We've we've pretty much reviewed our our budget together, um, you know, because it's the end of the quarter, and really, there's really not much more we can cut back on besides our phones, and then um, yeah. So anyways, if you have any comments or questions, please let me know. And sorry for that noise. Um, I will be uploading our March closeout 
probably on Monday once everything clears in the bank. Until next time. Bye, guys.